Girl shocked. She's a 32-year-old female, gravid of three para one at 38 weeks gestation by last menstrual period. Um, a 16-week ultrasound presents to the OB unit for evaluation before her scheduled repeat C-section. So we tried version yesterday with the intent of inducing labor, but we were not successful. So currently she's afebrile. Her blood pressure is 122 with over 76. The monitor demonstrates a reactive fetal heart rate pattern. Baseline 140, no D cells with moderate variability. So she has no contractions right now. Um, currently the fetus remains in frank breech position with the back on the maternal left. Her fundal height is 40 centimeters. And again, I can't feel any contractions. So upon vaginal exam, she's two centimeters dilated. 75% of face at negative three station. Her membranes are still intact but she does have scant white discharge present. So we did an ultrasound this morning, we confirmed the fetal position, and we're just gonna get her ready for the C-section later. So she did have one previous C-section, um, but other than that, she, if you guys can just get her ready for the, C the OR, that'd be great. Sounds good. good. Okay, good luck today, Carol, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Hi, Ms. Shots, my name is Kaylin. I'm one of your nurses today. I'm just gonna run through the pre-op checklist. And I see that you've signed your consent. Do you have any questions? Not right now. I am so nervous. You know, my husband's in Iraq, and I, I wish he could be here for me. Um, but I'm glad my sister could be here today. Are you going to be in the OR? Yes, I would love to be. Okay. <clears throat> we'll get you dressed and ready to go, too. My name is Cassandra. I'm just going to do a quick physical assessment on you. My name is Alexa. I'm just going to hang an IV bag and um, get you some pre-op meds, okay? Ms. Schatz, can you verify your name, date of birth, and blood type, please? Carol Schatz, June 2nd, 1987, and my blood type is O positive. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to put a bracelet or wristband on your ankle and then another one on your wrist. Why for when that? you go down to the OR. Because when you're in the OR, there's going to be people at the head of the bed and at the foot of the bed, so you want to make sure that she's got identification on all of her limbs. And then when her baby is born, they can match the mom to the baby. Okay. And what, what was the gravida para thing that you're talking about? So that means that she's been pregnant three times and has given birth to one living child. Okay. Yeah, I had a miscarriage a couple years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Ms. Schatz, do you have any allergies? Yes, I do. To what? I'm allergic to minocycline. What happens when you take it? Oh, that was awful. I got shakes, I had chills, I had a fever. I never want that drug again. Okay. When was the last time you ate or drank anything? Uh, I think about 7 o'clock this morning. Okay. And last time you voided? What's voided? Um, when was the last time you went to the bathroom? Um, uh, oh, I think about 7 o'clock this morning. Okay. 106 over 64, 88. Is that okay? Can you take a couple yes, deep breaths for me, both. please? Very good. Okay. And what's this drug that you're giving her? So I'm giving her lactated ringers. It's going to help with her any dehydration during the surgery. Okay. Ms. Shabs, do you feel any pain when I push this uh, IV, uh, this fluid through your IV site? Not right now. Okay, good. Do you wear dentures, Ms. Shabs? I'm a little young for that. Okay. <laughs> uh, hearing aids? No hearing aids. And you took all your jewelry off? I left my jewelry at home because I had a C-section with my first baby. Okay. Um, would you like to keep your glasses on until transport comes, or do you want me to take them off and give them to your sister now? I think I want to keep them on. I'm pretty nearsighted. Okay. That sounds good. Lung sounds are clear and bilateral. Heart is normal and regular. Is that, that's good. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put a few monitors on. The first one measures contractions, and the second one's going to measure the baby's heart rate. I heard you guys talking about D cells. Is that what this measures? Yeah, so D cells are when the baby's heart rate will dip during a contraction and she's not having any of that. Okay. Good. Yeah, I haven't had any contractions this morning. Sorry. Ms. Shots, I'm going to give you a medication called sodium citrate. It's going to help your stomach during the surgery. Can you give me your name and date of birth? Carol Shots, June 2nd, 1987. It's in the 140s, so it's looking good. It's be it's supposed to be between 120 and 160. So oh, that's good. I'm so relieved. All right. Ready? Ready. Mm -hmm. Call transport? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take your glasses off now, okay?
to send. Um, yeah. Is there any questions? <laughs>